Hello everyone. In this video, we are going to discuss about the difference between memoization and tabulation. Both are the important concept in, in dynamic programming. So what is dynamic programming? Dynamic programming is a way of solving a bigger problem when we are going to reuse the solution of the smaller or the sub problems. Okay, so let us understand this by a crude example. Let's say you know that 19 into 20 is 380. Okay, and if somebody asks you what is 19 into 21, how you would calculate it? So inside our head, we generally do is 19 into 20 is 380. So mm -hmm. let us just add one more 19 to it. So it will give us um, sorry, 399, okay? So what we have done is we have reused the solution of a smaller problem to get the solution of the bigger problem. So if let us say we are storing the solutions of lots of sub problems and reusing them whenever we are hitting a problem where the same sub problems is occurring. So in that way, we can save the time of calculating the same sub problems again and again. So this is the core concept of dynamic programming. Now this reusing of the same sub problems can occur in two ways. One is tabulation, one is memoization. If we will go by definition, Tabulation is basically following the bottom up approach for saving the result of sub problems and reusing them. In the same way, memoization is top down approach for the same procedure. Let's say that what is tabulation? So, when I, when I was studying this topic for the first time, I was getting a little bit confused that what is the difference between them. So I will just explain it, explain it to you uh, using one example. So what is tabulation? So in tabulation, let's imagine there is a child who knows only the addition. He doesn't know that what is the multiplication, okay? So if we ask him, what is five into nine? So it is 45 but he doesn't know it because he doesn't know what is multiplication concept. So what he does is he starts counting the multiplication table that five into five into one is five, five into two is 10. So basically what he is doing is he is adding five each time, okay, to the previous result. So he is creating a kind of multiplication table to arrive at the solution of five into nine is equal to 45. So this method of starting from the most, the most smallest sub problem and going one step up one by one, okay? This process is called tabulation. So we can just remember it that tabulation is the process how a multiplication table is built. So tabulation and multiplication table. We can remember it like that, okay? Tabulation is a bottom-up approach. Now let's come back to the memorization. So let's see, there is one funny example of, uh, there was one movie, Hollywood movie, Memento, and the Bollywood remake of that is uh, Gajni, okay? So in that movie, the actor has a forgetful personality where he forgets that what's going on, what is the current situation. So in order to remember the past he wrote or he tattooed the important events of his life so let us say there is an actor and he has written some of the important events but he doesn't remember those events so what he will do he will he let us say he wishes to uh, remember something which he has encountered so in order to remember that he will start looking for the 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 particular uh, uh, you know that particular tattoo in his body but in those process, he will find some other, other tattoo. And now he will start looking for the information about that tattoo. 
So it is kind of a recursive call one by one. He will keep looking at uh, the tattoo which will come on the way till he finds the answer of what actually he was looking for. So top down approach is the same way where we are looking for a particular solution, a problems solution. But in order to find that solution, we will start breaking it one by one at one level by one level. And we obviously don't know the answer of one level below. So we will go one level further below till the point we know the answer. So it is kind of a recursive call in a top down approach. Let us understand is it using a proper example of factorial. So we, we all know what is factorial, right? Factorial of any number is basically multiplying one into two into three, all the numbers till that number n. That is factorial of a number, okay? Factorial of zero is one and factorial of one is also one. They are generally taken as a base case. So if we have to calculate factorial of 100, using tabulation method let us say so what will happen is uh, yeah what will happen is we will create an array of 100 sides we will initialize the first uh, first index or the first element of the array as one because the the uh, the factorial of one is one okay and now we will start from i is equal to zero or basically the first factorial to the hundred factorial. So basically we are storing the factorial one at the index zero, factorial two at index one and so on. Okay, just remember that because the array representation is zero indexed or zero based. Okay, so now whenever we are going one level up, for example, factorial of one is zero, factorial of Two is stored in the index one which is one into two so it will be two and so on so in order to calculate the factorial of ith index we will multiply it with i and the previous element so in this way one by one one by one we are going to calculate each of the factorial at the end all our elements all the elements of the array will have the factorial for the corresponding values and we will just print factorial 100 as dp 99th index. So this is a way, this is a very simple example. It is not a very accurate example because this is not a, not a perfect solution, a perfect uh, you know, uh, way of solving the problem of factorial because here there is no point in storing all the numbers when we just need the previous number, right? But just for an example of tabulation, this works fine, okay? So this is how tabulation work. We start from the most simplest or most smallest problem and we make our way to the required solution one by one in a bottom of approach, okay? What is memoization? Let us come to this. So in memoization, again, let us say that we are looking at the same example of factorial calculation for the n is equal to 100. We have an array. We initialize all the element as minus one. Okay, we initialize all the element as minus one and we write a recursive function, memoization factorial, which takes an argument x. If x or the index is equal to zero, we know that the factorial of one is one. So we will return one. We have initialized all the elements as minus one. So if let us say, if we encounter any index and that index, uh, the element for that index is not equal to minus one, it means that we have calculated that particular uh, element. So in that case, we will return that element because it is not minus one, it is some value, the some correct value, okay? Otherwise, Otherwise, when it is minus one, okay, this is if, so else will be minus one, right? So in that case, we need to calculate what is the factorial of that number. So we will use x into, we will call again the factorial of one lesser number, okay? So in this way, it will make recursive call. For example, factorial of 100, we'll just check, is 100 equal to equal to zero? 
no is factorial uh, 100 is it not equal to minus 1 no it will come here so initialize factorial 100 as 100 into call the same function for 99 again it will do so basically it will call for 100 so it will make a call to 99 it will make a call to 98 it will go 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 till x is equal to 100 oh, sorry zero okay so in that case it will initialize dp zero as one okay and it will go one level up for x is equal to one so dp one will be equal to one into one will be one and so on it will keep going one level up 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 a recursive call to initialize all the element but initially it has gone from 100 to 99 and till zero so it is going top down approach so this is memoization for you now let us summarize that what we have learned as a difference so in terms of his speed can you just think or maybe you can pause this video and just think about which one among the uh, tabulation and memoization will be faster okay so because we uh, yeah the the tabulation will be faster why because we directly access the previous element okay but in memoization what is happening in order to calculate factorial 100 we are going to 99 then we know that okay we don't know 99 factorial so we will go to 98 oh uh, we don't know even 98 so basically we are going recursively one level down 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 and then we are going up 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 so the stack consumption the stack memory consumption okay that will also be very high because lots of recursive calls are being made here okay and also it will be slower the memoization in this case will be slower if let us say we call for the sub problem solution solving okay so if all the sub problems must be solved at least once if all the sub problems have to be solved at least once then in that case bottom up approach will be better but if all the sub problems are not have they are not needed to be solved in order to calculate the bigger uh, problem solution in that case memoization will be better why because for those uh, sub problems which we are not going to be needing then there is no point in calculating it but in the bottom up approach or in the tabulation approach they will also be calculated we are making unnecessary calculation for them also in the bottom up approach right so in such case where all the sub problems are going to be used tabulation is better okay let's come to the third point in the table entries in the tabulated version because we start from the first entry and we fill all the entries one by one but in the memoization what happens is all entries of the lookup table are not necessarily filled in the memoization why because only those elements which are going to be used they will be initialized or calculated all those elements which are not to be used they will just be initialized with a minus one in this case and they will not be changed and we will not be even noticing that they are not changed because we are not using them so i hope this is uh, clear and please do comment if you have any doubts and uh, please subscribe to this channel because that is how i will feel that these videos are useful for some of the people and thank you everyone have a nice day